In this video, let's talk about the four phases of statistical investigation. The first phase is to pose a question that can be answered with data. The second one is to design and use a plan to collect data. The third is to analyze the data with appropriate methods. And the fourth is to interpret results and draw valid conclusions. So let's elaborate on those four for just a minute. The first one was to pose a question that can be answered with data. Some examples would be, how many hours do you sleep on average per night? Another might be male versus female. Another is something like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to recommend this restaurant to a friend? That allows a restaurant, for instance, to be able to categorize an opinion so they don't just have open-ended responses, which is good so they can gather data on that question. What is your math grade is an easy one to answer with data. And how many siblings do you have would be another example. A few non-examples, like things that would not be able to be measured or answered with data, is how do you feel about school starting at 710? Because people would answer that all sorts of ways and give you various answers that you have a hard time gathering up an amount or analyzing those numbers because they wouldn't be able to give you specifics. What do you think the world will look like in 100 years? Again, these answers will be too widespread and not something we can measure. So you wanna pose a question that can be answered with data. Think about your answer needs to be something you can tally up or measure. The second phase is design and use a plan to collect data. Always strive for random selection using methods to do this effectively. So we're gonna talk more about some more specific ways we can do this but the three most basic methods to choose a simple random sample, we call that an SRS in stats, is you can either use a random digit table, draw names out of a hat, and roll a die. More specifically, we'll talk about a few more methods on another video. But you want to design and use a plan to collect data. You do not want to just choose people because it takes away the randomness of it, and that's very important with stats. The third phase was to analyze the data with appropriate methods. For example, you might find a proportion of people that were female. You could find a percentage of people that think that school should start later. You could find the mean or average height of a group of soccer players. Graphing it is optional in most cases because you're just analyzing data. Like, would it be appropriate to use a pie chart? Would it be appropriate to represent it with a bar graph or stem and leaf? And of course there are other options right there, but it's just analyzing your data depends on which, which data you have gathered and what would be appropriate for your questions that you have asked your survey or whatever you've observed if you've just observed people. Okay, so the fourth phase is to interpret your results and draw valid conclusion. Conclusions, is what you found significant or could it have occurred just by chance is what we always like to ask with stats. Could you simulate your design to check for that significance? We use phrases such as evidence suggests to make sure our interpretation is cautious and not definite. Rarely, notice I underline that a lot, rare, rare, rarely is something we find with our data ever a definite. For a very strong example of this, if we think about smoking, it's only in recent years that they are really talking as it's directly related to lung cancer. And think of all the evidence they've gathered over all these years, and they still don't say that it's directly a cause just because there are so many other outside factors. So those are our four phases. Here they are again in case you need to see them. 